Hello, it's Angie from Trips with Angie. I'm a certified luxury travel specialist and I'd love to book your next cruise. Don't worry, this whole video is not going to be in vertical. This just so happens to be the only photo I took of myself on the summit. So let's get started on deck three. You glimpse the internet cafe over there. We just passed the captain's club host. Here is your guest services. So deck three is really where you want to go if you're having a problem or you have a question. And then there's this beautiful stairwell. We actually have a great group picture from when 20 of us cruised together a few years ago on this ship. I've been on the ship four times. I absolutely love it. Um, this sailing that we took from San Juan to the Southern Caribbean is one of my favorites. So this big area is the shore excursions desk. Uh, you can book your shore excursions in advance over the internet. You can even use your onboard credit that you may have gotten as a perk to book. Um, otherwise, you can stand in line or you can use the app. Also here on deck three, if you weave your way through the staterooms, you will eventually end up at Tuscan Grill, which is the Italian specialty restaurant. Seriously, it's like a maze getting back here. So just look for the clues and do your best. You weave your way through the ship and eventually you will end up, ta-da, here at Tuscan Grill. This is an extra charge. Um, it is a $45 surcharge to dine here. Uh, you can make your reservations in advance or once you're on board. It is a lovely dining room. Um, really, really pretty. Now, if we want to head up, we're going to go to deck four. So deck three, four, and five have most of the areas you're going to want. So here is Lumine. This is the suites dining room. So if you book a suite class cabin, you get access to this special suite dining room. On the other side is the Cosmopolitan Anytime Dining. Well, at least on our cruise, it was Anytime Dining. Then here's the Rendezvous Lounge. So this lounge was the hub for trivia for most of our cruise. There's also live music here at night. We were really impressed at the amount of live music on board. I think there were two or three bands, if you include the orchestra that played with the show. So lots of live music this lounge is also virtually empty during the day, so if you're looking for a quiet indoor place to read, it'd be a good choice. Also, on deck four has some of my favorite areas on the ship, and that is this outdoor chaise lounge. So if you are looking for a quiet place to read that's out of the sun, I highly recommend heading to deck four. You have a beautiful view of the ocean or whatever island you're visiting. The elevators are on the side of the ship, so if you're used to looking for those main elevators in the middle, you're going to have to head over to the side. Here is the infamous martini bar. If you sailed Celebrity before, you know all about the martini bar. It's the hub of evening activity. It's always packed. Um, you'll want the premium package. You usually get the classic package free as part of your perks, but you'll want the premium package if you're going to spend your time at the martini bar. So here we'll take a look at the casino. Now these perks I'm talking about. Every now and then, and a lot of the time, Celebrity offers a pick your perk promotion where you can pick a perk based on the cabin category you have. So here's a peek at the casino bar, and this is where my favorite bartender John was working during the evening. Um, it's very small though, so if you want to watch a sporting event there, be sure to get there early. Your standard art gallery and photo gallery are here on deck four, as well as the special The Retreat Lounge. So if you've sailed the summit before, this used to be Michael's Club. This is the lounge for suite guests and suite guests only. So part of being in a suite is you get all these extra perks, which is nice. The theater. So here we'll take a peek inside. I, I only got it at night, but you can see it's actually a really good theater. Um, if you've sailed a lot of cruise ships before, it's it has great sight lines. It's pretty standard. And they had a number of shows. Heading upstairs to deck five is where you'll find all the specialty boutiques. Boutiques? You probably say boutiques, don't you? Put it in the comments. That's <laughs> a little Indiana coming out. So here's all the duty-free shopping. There were daily sales. People lined up. You know me, I'm not a big into shopping, but people seem to buy a lot and have a very good time. So back to the entertainment. On our cruise, we had a, two different comedians. We had a hypnotist. We had the cast production. So lots of great options for entertainment in the theater, as well as live music throughout the different lounges. So you have alcohol in addition to jewelry, as well as more of your souvenir shopping. 
In front of us is the future cruise desk. Obviously, I would love for you to book a cruise with me, but there's also incentives for rebooking on board. Celebrity also has an authorized Apple reseller if you're looking for a new Apple device. And then here, heading into Cafe Al Biaco, which is the coffee shop. I also highly recommend the iced tea. They can make any of the teas iced and they're delicious. And the cinnamon donuts. If they have the cinnamon donuts at breakfast, they take a, taste a little bit like an elephant ear. Then across the way is the gelato. It is available for an extra charge. So if you really like gelato, you can get it there. Otherwise, there's hand scooped ice cream up on the buffet. Cellar Masters is the wine bar. Um, they have a number of wine tastings throughout the cruise. Sushi on five is an extra charge. You pay by the item. This is our go-to place for embarkation. Shh, don't tell anybody. Now back into Cellar Masters. This has the most extensive wine list on board. So if you're really into wine, this is a good place to head. And again, watch that program for the different wine tastings. Now up here on deck five, this is the set dining time for the Cosmopolitan. Now you get a better view of what the Cosmopolitan dining room looks like. They have two set dining times, or you can do the Celebrity Select dining time. On our sailing with Celebrity Select dining, you could make a reservation as long as it was earlier than 6.30 or later than 7.30. Here is Blue Restaurant. This is a perk for booking an Aqua Class cabin. The other book for Aqua Class is you have access to the thermal suite. I don't have a video of that in this video. I apologize, um, but I'm sure you can find it online. But here is Blue. All right, now it's all staterooms until we get to deck 10. So here we are at the Ocean View Cafe. This is the buffet restaurant for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We ate here most nights. We were really impressed with it. They had great Indian food, and we sat most of the time out here at the Sunset Bar. It was just absolutely gorgeous weather, and we loved being able to eat dinner outside. There's also a stir fry station at dinner. There's a salad station. They have hand carved meats. So lots of great options at the buffet. Now heading in towards the pool area. We have a couple whirlpools, we have the main pool, there's usually some type of music playing, the band would come out and play during sail away most days, so lots of live music even at the pool in addition to the different lounges across the ship. These day beds right here in front went fast, that was definitely one of those get up early and get there. And then on this little stage they would play bean bags, um, the band would play on the deck just above. Over here is the master grill. So this is your hamburgers, hot dogs uh, made right in front of you. And the french fries were really good. So give those french fries a try. I really like them. Our, the pool bartenders were amazing. John, Johan, Sean. And in front of the pool bar is the solarium. This is the adults only area. It's enclosed. So it's not open air. So it gets a little bit warmer. It has a heated bubbly pool so you can get in nice and relaxing as well as two whirlpools. And this is the spa cafe. So this has healthy alternatives for lunch. It's kind of like 11 to 5. So they have individually plated food, all different kinds of options. The options are the same every day. You can also custom order a veggie wrap, a bowl of soup, or a turkey sandwich in addition to those smoothies. The smoothies are an extra charge. Everything else is included. So there's a, a view of that bubbly pool and the loungers that you can sit in in the water to enjoy that. Also, here's the entrance to the spa. The ladies' room and the men's changing rooms both have saunas, so you don't have to have access to the thermal suite to have access to a sauna. Here's a peek inside this salon. As, as I said, we're not going much further into the spa. So heading up to deck 11, this is where we're going to find the Sky Lounge. This is a very great lounge. I like it a lot. Uh, it has terrific views. It's a good spot during the day if you want to be inside but have a terrific view. It also has different events during the night and it hosted the happy hour for the elite and above Captain's Club members when we were on board. In the late evening, it turns into the nightclub. But what I really love about it is you have full view of the front of the ship. So here you can see the helipad and this is when we were in St. Martin. So good view of St. Martin and the helipad here from the Sky Lounge. Next door to the Sky Lounge is Camp at Sea. So this is the Kids Club program. This is where you'll sign them up and check them in. On our sailing, there weren't a lot of kids, so this wasn't very active. In fact, I think we saw the two counselors, each with one child. So it was a lot of personal attention on our sailing. 
but they do have a supervised kids program they publish the activities so you can see what you'd like to do as a family or if you want to drop off the kids to have some alone time x club is the teens program again not a lot of teens on our sailing so it was pretty empty most of the time you can, they have an upstairs as well as a downstairs. I snuck up to deck 12 to try and see inside the exclusive retreat sun deck. And this is as far as I got. And I'm sure it's really, really nice. Uh, now back down to deck 11. We're going to head around by the pool. So up here, tons of loungers. These ones in the back get the best sun. I mean, obviously, depending which way the ship is facing. But there's not a lot blocking the sun. This is Mass Bar. These seats are the best people watching seats ever. You can watch everything going on at the pool. I highly recommend them if you're a big people watcher. So here's another view of the pool deck just from another angle towards the aft or the back of the ship. So you see the two different pools, the four wheel pools and the stage. As we head in, we're going to see cuisine. Now, if you have sailed a ship before with cuisine, it's totally different now on the summit. They've replaced the modern cuisine menu with Le Petit Chef um, with the more approachable menu. And basically what happens is they project a tiny cartoon chef onto your plate to make your dinner and then they serve you a plate that looks exactly like that cartoon. This is an extra charge and reservations are required. Now, this dead ends. Don't trick yourself several times like I did. This will not go all the way back through um, for you to be able to get down to Sunset Bar, but it does give you access to go up top to the rooftop terrace. You'll also find the sports deck up here. So if you're looking for basketball, soccer, pickleball, tennis, this is where you would head and ask the activities team to set it up for you. All right, so now we are headed to the rooftop terrace and I need your help. I do not remember what was here before. So if you remember what used to be deck 12 aft, can you please put it in the comments? They've added these great loungers and a big screen TV. So they show movies here during the day and at night and have a quiet period if you just want to sit up here and read. And if you bug us services, they may show your favorite sporting event up here. But I didn't tell you that. Do not go to guest services and say a lady on the internet told you you could do it. All right, let's see a stateroom. This is an Ocean View stateroom, 2130. Just a heads up, if you have an Ocean View stateroom that sleeps four, the bed is going to be against the window because the two other beds come down from the top. So this is only the setup if it's a two-person cabin. So you have a nice little mini chair, the window, obviously your Ocean View window, a nice vanity and desk. I'm really impressed with how they refurbish these staterooms. Um, they did a great, great job. Nice space TV. Lots of storage. It doesn't look like there's a lot of storage, but there was. And I love what they've done with the bathroom. So they have the sink, the toilet, and then the nice shower. These are the similar showers to what we had on the edge. And I think they've done a great job re-engineering it. That terrible shower curtain is gone and they're making the most of the space that they allocated to the bathroom. The bathroom includes shower gel, shampoo, conditioner, and lotion. I did not love the shampoo. So if you are a person who's a little picky about their hair, I would definitely still bring your own shampoo and conditioner. The shower gel was fine. It was a little bit drying and the body lotion was pretty good. So just to give you an update on that. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to book your next celebrity cruise. I have the exact same prices as celebrity and sometimes a little extra perk or onboard credit. So just email Angie at tripswithangie.com.